Hi, I'm Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on integration. To learn the concepts, we have taken questions from previous test papers, and I hope their solution will help you a lot. So here is question number four, which we are going to now solve. The question here is, the graph of function f of x equals to p cos x is given to you. Find area of shaded region. So that's the graph. Now, you can always pause the video and answer this question. Now, from the graph, we know what p is. p should be 3, right, looking at the graph. So the function f of x can be written as, which is given to us as p cos x, can be written as 3 cos x. So the function is 3 cos x since the maximum value given to us is 3. Now we need to find the area of the shaded region. That means from 0 to pi by 2. So that much area we need to find. So the area is how much? Area can be written as a definite integral between 0 to the interval which is pi by 2. For the given function p cos x, p is 3, so 3 cos x dx. Now in this case, the integral should be what? So the integral is 3 cos x sin x integral, right? And the interval given to us is from 0 to pi by 2. So we can now calculate this value as equal to, well, 3 is a constant, we can write constant outside and uh, sine of pi by 2 minus sine of 0, right, radians. Now this is equal to 3, sine of pi by 2 is 1 and sine of 0 is 0. So that gives us a value of 3 square units or unit square. So the answer here is that the area equals to 3 units square. Perfect. So that is how you could solve it. Now here is another test question on integrals to find area defined by intersection of few lines or curves. The question number 5 here is using integrals find the area of the triangle formed by positive x-axis and tangent and normal to the circle x square plus y square equals to 4 at 1 square root 3. You can always pause the video and answer the question. Well, let's see the scenario first. So here is a circle whose equation is given to us as x square plus y square equals to 4. It means it has radius of 2 and the center is at 0, right? So at the origin. So that becomes the circle, radius being 2. So this point 1 will be somewhere there. So we can actually draw a tangent, right? So, so that becomes the tangent. Normal at this point will be the line joining from the origin itself. So as you know, radius is always at right angles to the tangent, right? So this angle here is right angles. So we have two lines. Let's call this line as L1 and the other line as L2. This point is 0. The point given to this place is 1 square root 3. So the equation of line 1 is what? Equation of line 1 will be a direct variation going from 0 to this. We could say this is y equals 2 square root 3x. I mean, square root 3x, right? So y equals to square root 3x is equation of line 1. To find the equation of tangent, which is line 2 for us, which is tangent, the slope has to be negative reciprocal. So slope of tangent is going to be negative 1 over square root 3. We can write its equation as y minus y1, which is square root 3, equals 2. The slope, which is minus 1 over square root 3, 
x minus x1, which is 1. So that becomes the equation of line 2. We really want to find the x-intercept since the area formed by the x-axis, that is your x-axis, the normal, right, let's call this point P, and uh, the x-intercept, which is, let's say, Q. So we are looking into the area of triangle OPQ, correct? That is what we are interested in. So we need to find what this point Q is. Well, at Q, y is 0. So, so to find Q, we'll substitute 0 for y. So it will be 0 equals to minus square root 3 equals to minus 1 over square root 3 uh, times x minus 1 cross multiply to solve with negative 1 if we multiply we get 3 equals to x minus 1 or x is equals to 3 plus 1 which is equal to 4. So the point Q is at 4. Correct. So we got the value at this point Q also. So now we have two lines let me summarize here, line 1, which is y equals to square root 3x, and then we have line 2, whose equation can be written as, uh, let's write it in a better form, right? So we uh, rewrite the equation of line L2, so y equals to the slope, which is minus 1 over square root 3x plus b, to get the value of b, and the value of b, let us put this point 1 square root 3, so we get square root 3 equals to minus 1 over square root 3, x is 1, plus b. So the value of b will be square root 3 plus 1 over square root 3, which gives us square root 3, 3 plus 1, or we get a value of b as 4 over square root 3, correct? So, so the line 2 will be y equals 2 minus 1 over square root 3x plus 4 over square root 3. Clear? So that becomes the equation of uh, the second line, uh, which is the tangent, right? So this is the tangent for you. And then we have uh, the first equation is for the normal. Now, let us find the integral to get the area of the triangle OPQ. Good. And let's do it on a fresh page. So what we have learned so far is that that's a triangle, or that's a circle for us with center at the origin. The equation of normal being y equals to square root of 3x and the equation of the tangent, this point here is 4. And the equation of the tangent is y equals to minus 1 over square root 3x plus 4 over square root 3. Correct? So those are the two lines. We are now interested in finding the area between OP and Q using integrals, right? Okay. So the area of triangle OPQ can be given as the integral from 0 to 1. So here, as you can see, till 1, we are looking for a curve area under the straight line y equals to square root 3x, right? So it is y equals to square root 3x dx from 0 to 1 plus integral 1 to 4. The curve under the tangent line, which is minus 1 over square root 3x plus 4 over square root 3 dx. Correct? So that should give us the total area. Right? Now, the area of this is square root 3, x square over 2, 
within 0 to 1, right? Plus the area here is so we could write this as minus 1 over square root 3 times x square over 2. Now this is a constant, so it'll be 4x square root 3. Okay? From 1 to 4. Clear? So that becomes the the area. So let's substitute the values. We get we could write like this, right? Square root 3 x equals to 1, 1 minus 0 is just 1, so we get times half here plus when you substitute 4 here, you get uh, minus 1 over 2 square root 3 times 4 square is 16, right? Minus when you substitute 1, that minus and minus becomes positive and you get 1 over 2 square root 3. For 4x, we get 4 times 4, 16. So let me write this as 16 over square root 3 minus, when you substitute 1, you get 4 over square root 3. Okay? So that becomes the area. So we get here square root 3 over 2 plus uh, we can take uh, 1 over 2 square root 3 rather common right and then then we'll add all those other terms so we'll take 1 over 2 square root 3 common so we have minus 16 here plus 1 here we get plus 2 times 16 which is 32 and here we get 2 times 4 which is minus 8 right So adding this, we get square root 3 over 2 plus 1 over 2 square root 3. And here we get uh, taking away 16 gives us uh, 16 and then 8. We get 8 plus 1. We get 7. Uh, we get 9, right? So we get 9 within the brackets. So uh, now we can simplify this. That gives us taking 2 square root 3 as common, right? Let's take 2 square root 3 as common. Multiplying here, we get 3 plus 9, which is 12 over 2 square root 3 or 6 over square root 3. Now, this could be rationalized. So you could multiply and divide by square root 3. So you get 6 square root 3 over 3 or this could be written as 2 square root 3. Correct? So this could be written as 2 square root 3. So that becomes the area. Perfect. So our answer here is that area equals 2. 2 square root 3 unit square. Okay. So that is how you can actually solve this question. I hope you find it interesting and useful. Feel free to write your comment, share your views and if you like and subscribe to my videos that will be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.